The 2000 PBR season went down as one of the most exciting in recent memory. There were the usual great rides and great wrecks. There was the emergence of two of the PBR's greatest young stars, Justin McBride and Ross Coleman. And there was a great two-man race for the world championship, a battle of young and old between Chris Shivers and Ty Murray. Coming up, Bull 2K, remembering the year 2000. The new millennium kicked off in flying fashion with an incredible year in sports. Kevin Dyson came up just one yard short in the Super Bowl. Pete Sampras broke the all-time record for career Grand Slams. Tiger Woods dominated the world of golf. And the Sydney Games gave us some great images and memories. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, man. And the professional bull riders tour followed up with its most exciting season yet. We'll take a look back through the action-packed season. You'll see everything from the best rides and wrecks to the most exciting race to the finish in recent memory. As everyone chased youngster Chris Shivers to the coveted World Championship gold buckle. At 20 years old, Shivers took the PBR by storm, winning five events, and became the only rider in 2000 to win three consecutive. It's gonna be good. Look to the left, back to the right, don't make no difference. Chris Shivers just makes a good bull ride. Got up there, no problem. Here we go. Free hand out. Shivers led the PBR with 12 90-point rides and won over $350,000. Often referred to as the King of Cowboys, Ty Murray, a longtime PBR fan favorite, had one of his most consistent seasons in 2000. Ty likes him. He's got him. He's got him. Whoa. Look at his feet. Look at his free hand. He's doing that. Look at this guy. He's having fun. Oh. Hello, Ty. Show me the money. All right. Cute. Jump kick. Not Ty Murray. The bull. Round to the right. Murray won in Bakersfield had five 90-point rides and led the tour by riding over 63% of his bulls. Got the talent. Right there, he's in a trouble right there. Now he's going Longtime to veteran Tater Porter won three times in 2000, including the World Finals in Las Vegas. Porter had an incredible eight 90-point rides and won over $411,000, the most on the PBR. It has world champion capability. Former PBR world champion Adriano Marias continued his winning ways in 2000 by capturing three events, including two consecutive in Nashville and Charlotte. Marias was one of three riders who registered a 95-point ride and finished with eight 90-point rides in total. And here's a look back at some of the most amazing bulls from the 2000 season, led by Dillinger, the 2000 PBR Bull of the Year. I think this is the ranking bull in the PBR. Watch Dillinger. Oh, yeah. Later, Porter. Never had a chance. Mm. He's just saying, if you can keep up with me, good luck. Kicking right square over his head. There's to the right. Look at that. You can watch him on film, and you still ain't gonna know what to do. <laughs> Dillinger, great bull. Probably one of the best bulls that I've ever seen. Round to the left end of his hand. Come on, Wiley, hump it. Just float him out of there. Good bull right there. Now get there. Adam on the right. Drop the rope. Oh, man, get out of there. He gets hung out. Just a, a great champion, a great athlete. Uh, I can say uh, I've been fortunate enough to be on him three, maybe four times. And uh, he buttoned me off every time, the turkey. Come on, Ross Coleman, into his hand. He's got around the corner, jerked the rope out of his hand. Blows him out of there, and you know, I just love that bull. He draws the second rank is bull here, and boy, he got around the corner. Come on, pistol. Oh, no, look out. You know, I don't think that there's any bull that's bucked any harder than Hollywood has all year. Coming up next, a look back at some of the greatest wrecks and greatest rides from the first PBR season of the new millennium.
Welcome back to Bold 2K, remembering the year 2000. And here's a look back at some of the year's greatest wrecks. Nick Buckley didn't ride as well, but this is what I thought, riding the gate to the left end of his head. Buckley, no, 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 man. He's down in there. He's been walked. He's hung in the bull rope. Now he's getting walked on like a foot log. Oh, man. Great. Dig out of there. Look at the bull fight. No problem now. Got to get off safe. Frank Newsom. Look at Rose Heater. Oh, no, look out. Oh, wow. This is bull rider. Oh, whip him wow. down. Whip him down. Round to the left. And, oh, man, Ooh. he's out from under him. Got stomped. Oh. Gary Richards, he's, he got beat around the corner. I mean, just right quick. Just right quick. Little Joe Rush, you guys, on Captain Hook. Oh, it's a great drive, man. He's going oh. run out of him off on the end of his arm. To the right, that's the end of Bart's hand. He's off his rope. Ah, oh, Bart. Good little young bull. Watch oh, out, Dennis. Gosh. the Harrington Cattle Company and jumping and kicking. Look out right here. Oh, oh man, slam gosh. dunk it. Oh, good gosh. Holy oh, moly. Yeah, this is not a funny wreck here, boys. This is a bad wreck. The drop here. Right there. Whoa. Oh, I mean, we're talking about... Come on, left. Oh, 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 Bumper's gas hog. Whoa, oh, oh, man. Oh, Pete, look out. Oh, no, he's hugging the bull rope. Man, he usually sticks tight. Oh. oh. Rossi tries to get a little bit aggressive, and it nearly costs him making a whistle. Watch this. You talk about get you a wedgie. Oh, my goodness. Air on. He needs to get it going. Get over there. Oh, no. Left speed go. Look out. Let's go again. He's knocked out. There he is. Come on, All Chad. Right, here he comes to the right. Look out. Wow. Oh. Back where he started from. Not only were there great wrecks, but a host of great rides as well. Here's a look at our 10 best. So take the lead. It's a little red bull, Donnie Kisses, and I mean a good one. Here we go. Look right. Back up. Go left. Now, boy, good turn there. Back the other way. Looking good right there. Good bull ride. Oh, yeah. Just buck it all the way around. Prince Charming could not get Chris Shivers on the ground. Show oh, me the money. Woo, yeah. You watch this. He's going into his hand. Watch him straight hit back up. Oh, yeah. Come on, Razor. Come on, Razor. Come on, Razor. Hit him on. Hit him on. Come on, Razor. Come on. Hit him on. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Jim Sharp. Boy, howdy. What a bull ride. Right Dandy's not the right one. Come on, Ed. Not to the right. Into his hand. Come on. He's got his feet. Come on, Ed. Right there. 
It's a great bull of a Hollywood. Hank and Cow got me. There he is. To the right. There we go. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Don't quit. Out of my Show me the money, baby. Oh, yeah. Sir. That is outstanding. J.W. Hart still got it. Let's see what Mr. Shivers gets done here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look. Look at here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just hoe it out of it. He's just having fun, isn't he? Yeah. He has a good bull and a good bull ride. <laughs> Bennett ran for a Texas. Got whipped out of position. Looks good yeah. right there. Oh, yeah. Bennett riding good, shuffling outside foot. Doesn't get a lot better than that. Now what you gonna do, judges? That was a good looking ride as well. Come on, Adriano. Come on, get a hold of that outside foot. Oh, he did it. He got it. Come on, that boy, Adrian. Show me some dough, I'm telling you. Uh-huh. Right back where he started from. Wow. That boy was wanting him down in the hole real bad. I'll tell you what, that had me on the front of my seat. He's a long, lanky guy on a big bull. Gonna go to the left. Into his hand. Come on, Owen. Bear down. Pump it. Pump it. You got him. Keep it. Dig. Dig. Come oh, on, Owen. Hang in there. Show me the money. Oh, man. That's bull riding. Let's see what he does. Going to the right. That's good job right there. Good seat. Good seat. Stay with him. Don't quit. Don't quit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think he made it. Oh, yeah. He does, too. Jim James saying, who was that? Shiver's amazing ride of 96.5 tied the PBR record for the highest score ever. You know, I've always had a goal of being the highest score in bull riding, you know, and the, the highest score is 96 and a half, and I share it with a guy that lives right there beside me, Bubba Dunn, and uh, one day I plan to beat it. I just don't know when it's going to be. Coming up next, more of the year's most unbelievable wrecks and a look back at Ross Coleman and Justin McBride, two youngsters who had their breakout seasons in 2000. Welcome back to Bull 2K and a look back at the 2000 PBR season. Here's some highlights and some incredible wrecks from that memorable season. Oh no, that's the, the get off. Oh well, there he goes again. Get in underneath. Look, look at Frank Newsom. Shake into the wall, in trouble. Better get off before you get tired. Oh, man, Frank Newsom's right. got to take a shot. Get up, he Frank. had to take a shot. That was the bull rider's fault. Around to the left. He's going in the well. Oh, man, don't hang up to this one. Good Lord of mercy. Ooh, he's got it under the jacket. Right. Come loose now. Good sure. time. He's uh -oh. going to go down in the well. And see, that's what I don't like about right. it. He's knocked out. Oh, man, Rowdy Bear. Man. Look here. Bullfighters, they're doing what they can do. This little bull is on the prod now. He's riding good smoker. Oh, whip wow. him down. Chili Winder. Oh, boy. Good bull. Look at him. He's after right. Oh, man, drill him right in the kabamba. Right behind him, hung up. Now, watch this get cow kicked in kabamba. It wasn't all bad on the PBR front in 2000. In their second seasons, both Justin McBride and Ross Coleman gave their fans a glimpse of the future as both youngsters hit their stride. Ross Coleman burst onto the scene, winning twice in Texas, once in Odessa and again in Houston. 
He finished fifth in the overall standings and ended the season with over $126,000 in prize money. All right, Coleman riding well. Made a good effort riding round one. Here we go, round to the left, and it's a good draw for Coleman. Fading out across yeah. the ring. Look at that. Stay in the middle. Keep riding. Keep riding. Here we go. Kicks out of there. Kicks really good. Cranks around to the right. Coleman makes a good turn right there. Gets that shoulder up. Had a boy. Good job. Oh, he lost the bull. Look at right with the fingertip. Oh, baby. I think he made the whistle. Round to the left. There it is right there. Nobody's been further than this right here. Just a minute. Justin McBride's remarkable performance at the Mossy Oak Shootout in Greensboro included being the first person to ride legendary bull Freckles, earning him $15,000. But he didn't stop there. McBride had four 90-point rides, finished ninth in the overall standings, and earned over $145,000 in prize money. This bull's gonna buck either way. Just turns right back to the right. Look at here, Justin McBride, go ahead, cowboy up, going back the other way. Oh, baby, show me the money. Good bull ride. Coming up next, we'll recap the 2000 season and the unbelievable race to the finish between Chris Shivers and Ty Murray. You know, going ride for ride with a legend like Ty Murray is it's probably the greatest thing in the world, you know, when, when you was a kid riding bulls and watching TV and, and looking at everybody's t-shirts, you know, that's, that's, you seen his face and you always wanted to be like him and now, you, now you're a few points ahead of him and got a chance to win the world. The 2000 season was one of the most exciting in recent memory. 20-year-old Chris Shivers raced out of the gates, winning four out of the first nine events, including three consecutive in Cleveland, St. Louis, and Tampa. Donaldson Bull, whoa, whoa. right in the gate to the left into his hand. I said earlier, why don't these bulls line to go the other way? With Chris Shivers gonna hold it out of it. Don't make no difference. Show me the money, mama. He's been on a roll. When you're hot, you're hot. Here he comes into his hand. No problem. No problem. Okay, you know. <laughs> See, I, you know. Oh, I mean, when you're hot, you're hot. Going to the right. Yeah. Good job right there. Good seat. Good seat. Stay with him. Don't quit. Don't quit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think he made it. Oh, yeah. He does, too. Being on the road and bull riding is probably the, that's the, that's the greatest thing. You know, when, when you're getting out there and and nothing can go wrong, there's not a better feeling. However, despite his unbelievable success, Shivers couldn't shake PBR veteran Ty Murray in the overall standings. Despite winning just one event, Murray was consistent week in and week out, finishing third four times, fourth four times, and fifth. Come on, Ty. Coming to the right. Hop and skip. Oh, oh yeah, man. get over there, pop it. I tell you what, heck of a ride. He's been winning, he needs to win first. In a little trouble right out of the gate. Away from his hand, great move, David. Yeah. Too far. That's the greatest move, that a boy. Oh, boy. Oh, baby. However, Murray's dream of winning the PBR World Championship seemed to crash in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Here we go. Snuffy, hop, skip, got him buried out of there. Oh! Man, man. Watch his left elbow. Had that arm stuck out there. Oh. Man, it looks like his shoulder. The result of Murray's fall was a dislocated shoulder, seemingly giving Chris Shivers a free path to the title. Here's a look at the standings showing how close they were at the time of Ty Murray's unfortunate injury. However, Shivers couldn't capitalize on Murray's absence. All right, here we go, round to the left, like you said, tough. He's got a seat on him, jump, oh, he's coming out of it, he's in trouble. You know, Chris Shivers is trying a little too hard, I think, Tuck, because he shouldn't have bucked off that bull. He's got to be disappointed in that. This is a, a bull that he knows round to the left into his hand, should just ride this like yard dog. It's going to be 90-something. Look at lost the rope again. 
That's a, that's a couple of times I yes. saw him lose the bull rope. You don't think he's not pressing a little since Ty, you know, everybody's telling him, well, it's time to put some distance between you and Ty Murray. Ty's hurt. I guess I thought I might have had it wrapped up, you know, the guy's hurt, he's right on my tail, and here's my chance to lengthen the lead. And, you know, I don't think I rode a bull until he came back from his injury, so uh, I tried to make a joke about it and say that I was, I was just waiting on him, but I really wasn't. I was trying to ride, it just wasn't working. Murray returned to action in Houston, Texas, after missing just two events. Right here, going to the left and picking the letter. Ty Murray oh, just going to ride this. And look, look, look at this. Now he's hamming it up with his free hand now. But, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy. Boy picked up a little speed and gets off away from his hand. <laughs> when he's got it on, oh. nobody looks any better. I'd say he's back. Unbelievably, he stood exactly where he was when he left. The two riders remained close until Calgary, where Chris Shivers ended the doubt of who was going to claim the 2000 championship. Johnny, he needs 87 points to win this event. Charlay Bull, round to the right. Nice. Good turn, just right him like Yeah! You're riding him like a champ of the world. Remember, Charlie, look at this bull. He's going, what's happening? Nobody's rode me. You could be looking at the new 2000 champ of the world right here. Shiver's fifth win secured the 20-year-old's first world championship crown. I don't think it really set in until until I, until I got home, you know. And, realized what I'd worked for for so long. A dream had come true, you know. It was, it was something that, that, that I put a lot of hard work in and, and uh, things paid off.